Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to install MetaTrader 4 on Linux Fedora 25. As you may already know, MetaTrader 4 is only available for Windows and mobile devices, uh, uh, such as uh, uh, iPhone or any Android device, but it's not available for uh, Linux. However, there is a way to install it and be uh, and it can be fully functional on on Linux using a Windows compatibility layer. So let's go on and see how we can do that. Before we start, we must collect a few files. This is the the installation file from MetaTrader 4. I used the uh, FX Pro uh, to download the client from here, but you can use uh, the client from any other broker. Uh, also. I have uh, downloaded uh, this um, icon of, of uh, FX Pro to make things prettier later. You will see what I mean. I downloaded this icon from uh, Snell Trading website here, this one. Uh, and uh, I also downloaded this um, font, which is uh, necessary for showing the arrows and other signs within MetaTrader. I downloaded this one from um, fontsupply.com, fonts. Uh, Wingding. You can Google. You can Google this one, or go directly to this uh, to this URL and download the TDF from here. So now that we have all those uh, three files, we can uh, start uh, by installing first of all the Windows compatibility layer on uh, Fedora. We will do that uh, by running a terminal. and type sudo dnf install play on linux play then we will give the the sudo password play on linux is actually a piece of software that uh, we're going to choose yes here that is uh, that is supposed to be uh, useful and help you to install uh, windows games on linux uh, as it uh, it installs uh, the Wine Windows compatibility layer um, on the system, but it uh, allows you to make different installations on virtual drives, so you can have different settings for different programs, because many games needs uh, need uh, different settings, etc., in order to run on Linux. But uh, I prefer using uh, play on linux to install any kind of uh, windows software on uh, on linux because it allows you to delete the whole installation and wine uh, very easily and install a new and try different settings etc uh, it will take some time for uh, this uh, uh, installation to complete because it has to download about uh, 300 uh, megabytes and then install a few programs. You see here that this Wine, this is the Windows uh, compatibility layer for, for Linux. Um, and uh, after the installation of uh, Play on Linux is complete, we will continue from there. Okay, now that the installation is complete with uh, no errors at all, so it says complete here, we can go on from here, activities, and uh, search for play on Linux and we can see here the program that we just installed and we run this program then we go install a program and install an unlisted program from here you can check here the checkbox don't remind me anymore click next again the same here click next and the new windows will a new window will appear click next Select install the program in a new virtual drive. Give the virtual drive a name, for example, FX Pro MT4. Click next and click this checkbox configure wine. Click next. Select 32 bits Windows installation. Click next. Now the program creates virtual drive with uh, uh, a, a, and installs uh, a compatibility, a Windows compatibility layer in, in that virtual drive. And this is where we are going to install our uh, MetaTrader platform after that. Now the installation of Wine, as you can see here, is taking place. It shouldn't take long. Just give it some time. Now it appears the window for configuring Wine 
we will configure for Windows version 10. Select and click apply and click OK. And now we click browse and we go to downloads or whatever folder we have uh, put our uh, inst uh, MetaTrader 4 installation file. And we select this and click next. Agree with the terms and select settings to remove this checkbox here so that it will not take us to, to the MQL5 uh, website after the installation. Click next. And uh, now the program will um, find the, the nearest access point and it will download the actual installation files of MetaTrader 4 platform. This shouldn't take long also but let's give it some time as we can see it's about 20 megabytes not that big uh, now we'll click finish uh, it gives us an error but we can safely ignore this error and click next now the system will try to run the MetaTrader 4 platform and if everything uh, is uh, is done properly the MetaTrader 4 platform will appear and will search for uh, FX Pro servers etc we can click uh, cancel here if we already have an account or we can go and create an account from here directly I will click cancel now and here is appears the, the login uh, window so I will enter uh, a demo account uh, here for the purposes of, of this uh, tutorial and um, just let me input the data I believe it was in demo 2 save account information login let's see if it if it will log in if I remember it says invalid account so I don't remember my credentials uh, let me try once more select here Okay, I'm back. Excuse me for that. The problem was that uh, I was selecting demo 2. Actually, the server was demo 4 in my case. And now, I'm, as you can see, I'm able to log into that uh, demo account. We have a good connection and uh, a fully functional MT4 installation on uh, Fedora. Uh, if you try, however, to um, draw an arrow on, on a chart here you will you will notice that uh, we don't have an arrow but a strange symbol the problem with that is that uh, MetaTrader 4 uses uh, uh, a specific font that is not an av available on Linux and we will have to install this so let's do that let's first however close this and that will take us back to our uh, installation okay uh, the problem will ask us uh, for uh, uh, to, to, to make a shortcut of our installation. I'm going to select this one and click next. This is the name. I like how it looks like and click next. And I don't know. I don't want any more shortcuts. So I click next and it closes. So if I open now uh, play on Linux, I can see here uh, the shortcut to the program. Uh, I will also create a shortcut for uh, my desktop by clicking here we'll open a window and it will say the shortcut has been placed on your desktop click next and it closes and now I can close play on Linux okay now if I go to my uh, browser to my uh, file manager excuse me and go to my home folder I will see that under desktop I have uh, I have this uh, this uh, shortcut um, I can right click on this properties and then click on the icon and select the the icon that I downloaded from uh, snail trading dash, uh, snail dash trading .com. and I can select this one uh, and I can close this one and I can see that it looks a lot better like that of course but of course we don't want this shortcut to be under this uh, folder we want it to be under our programs here our programs 
um, together with all the other programs of Linux that we use. And we can do that easily. We can go and cut this uh, shortcut from here and go to home and select here from the property so hidden files and then go to local and share and applications and we can paste it here. So now that it is pasted here, we can go uh, directly here and uh, search for FX Pro or MetaTrader and it will appear uh, in, uh, in, in immediately it will find it uh, under uh, our uh, programs. We can also search from here and find it here. It is with a beautiful icon, okay? Um, now let's go back to, to the situation that we have with uh, the font. We can go here and remove, uh, uncheck this box so that hidden files will disappear. And we will notice that under our, our home folder, we have a new uh, shortcut to play on Linux virtual drives. And uh, first of all, we, can, we will go to downloads and we will extract this um, font from here. And we're gonna copy this font. And then we're gonna go play on Linux uh, this is our virtual drive, FX Pro MD4 that we created, drive C. We go Windows and Fonts and we paste this font here. So now we go again home and uh, we can go here at our activities and search for MetaTrader and we can run our uh, MetaTrader program and it will immediately start and it will log in it in, in our account because uh, we logged in before. And now if I try to draw an arrow uh, or any other icon, we will see... Oh. Okay, excuse me for that again. I didn't plan the, the whole video before, so uh, it is normal to uh, face some uh, problems here. Uh, the problem was with uh, the font that I downloaded from that website. It appears that it is broken. So I searched again and I found that yearfonts.com uh, gives the, the correct uh, the correct Windings uh, font. So I downloaded from here the TTF and it downloaded this file uh, and their uh, downloads which seems to to work so I have to just rename this font I don't know if renaming is necessary but I will uh, and I'm gonna take this file from here I'm gonna copy this file like this copy and go again to the correct uh, t t under the virtual drive drive C windows and fonts delete the other file and paste the new one here and now we can go and start our MetaTrader, uh, our MetaTrader platform from here. And we can go and draw an arrow and we see that it draws an arrow as it should. So that was all folks. We have uh, a, a working MetaTrader 4 installation on Fedora Linux 25. Uh, if you're using another Linux distribution, the process uh, and some steps may be different. Uh, if you're unable to install it, drop me a comment below uh, so that uh, I can uh, help you with that. Thank you very much for watching.